In our last video, we took all the data from our surface surveys and confirmation drilling and built a sophisticated 3D model of our potential reservoir. This model gives us our best estimate of the reservoir's size, temperature, and power potential. But a model, no matter how detailed, is still just a prediction based on available data. The Earth can always hold surprises. Now, we must bridge the gap from model to reality by confronting the inherent risks of exploration. This process is defined by two critical questions. Is the resource really what our model says it is? And what is the financial cost of being wrong? The ultimate test of our model is drilling a full-sized appraisal or production well, and this is where we face the highest geological risk. Even with our detailed map, we might drill thousands of feet down and find the temperature is lower than expected, or that the rocks lack the high permeability needed for water to flow at commercial rates. The fluid's chemistry might be too corrosive for standard equipment. A negative result or any of these factors can make a well non-commercial, representing a significant setback. This is precisely why the entire exploration process is phased. The detailed surface surveys, thermal gradient drilling, and the temperature logging we've discussed are all designed to minimize geologic risk. By confirming the heat with smaller, cheaper slim holes first, we gain the confidence needed before committing to a multi-million dollar production well. It's a strategy of incremental investment based on accumulating data. Ge geologic risk translates directly into financial risk. Geothermal projects are characterized by very high upfront capital costs, with drilling being the single most expensive component. Th this entire investment must be made years before the power plant is built and begins generating revenue. This high cost, high risk, front loaded profile can be a major hurdle for securing financing from investors. This is where our detailed reservoir model becomes our most critical financial tool. It provides the verified data and power potential estimates that form the business case needed to prove to investors that risk is worth it. To further mitigate this, many governments offer policy incentives like drilling grants, tax credits, or risk insurance programs. These policies help share the financial burden of early stage exploration and encourage the development of these vital clean energy resources. Beyond the subsurface resource, we also manage technical and environmental risks. The extreme heat and potentially corrosive fluids deep underground require specialized durable drilling equipment and materials. Another key consideration is the risk of induced seismicity, the potential for fluid injection and extraction to cause minor tremors. This risk is managed starting in the early exploration phase by selecting sites away from major active fault lines. During development and in operation, sensitive microseismic monitors are used to track any ground movement in real time, ensuring operations stay well within safe limits. Geothermal exploration is not about eliminating risk. It is about managing it through a systematic data-driven process. Every step from the first surface map to the final 3D reservoir model is a deliberate action taken to reduce uncertainty. It is this careful, phased, and scientifically rigorous approach that transforms a high-risk geological prospect into bankable, reliable, and sustainable clean energy projects for our future. In our last video, 